Hello everyone, this is Dr. Tawabhutrudi, Associate Professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering from Dear Patel College of Engineering, Akuti, Pune. So, this presentation is under the four-week international FDP on Environment and Sustainability. Today, I will present on the emission associated with the electric vehicle charging. The electric grid on which the vehicle are charged differ on their carbon intensities. Uh, each grid is characterized by an hourly generation profile of an interweek sessional variation are not captured because of the profile uh, represent at a uh, average fuel mix over the causes of the air. So generally uh, here consider uh, of uh, not only the emission associated with the charging electric vehicle on a particular electric grid, but also the emission associated with the non-electric miles events. This includes the miles uh, that uh, here uh, we consider that uh, three types of vehicle that is battery electric vehicle, plug-in hybrid electric vehicle and conventional vehicle. So, plug-in uh, plug hybrid vehicle depends in gasoline mode and uh, those tips that the battery electric vehicle driver are required to make the conventional vehicle. As such, we able to provide the more complete representation of total emission associated with that plug-in hybrid vehicle owner includes. Here including uh, conventional emission able to capture the more important story of the plug-in hybrid vehicle. So the, this figure uh, shows the five grid profile using the main analysis which uh, present a broad spectrum of low to high carbon intensity grid. Although the example of uh, low carbon grid is Composed largely of renewable energy, a grid with nuclear hydropower or other emission free generation source would uh, yield a similar result. So, here uh, 93 high carbon uh, part we can use the 93 percent. So, here uh, emission associate uh, the scenario shows that uh, five uh, the the level of emission associate with uh, uh, with each uh, charging scenario is uh, based on the carbon intensity of the electric grid at the specific time of uh, day the vehicle uh, are charged the emission associated with the uh, burning gasoline the, res, uh, the ratio of electric to gasoline mild even and the efficiency of the vehicle. So this uh, right side figure uh, shows that the emission associated uh, with the mild even the conventional vehicle are assumed to be the 0.4 rate pound per uh, uh, pound carbon dioxide per mile in that uh, diagram shows that the calculate, calculate emission from the both the battery electric vehicle and plug-in hybrid vehicle scenario. So here we consider uh, that uh, the level of electric vehicle charging so this left side is on uh, low carbon grid this uh, low carbon grid uh, carbon uh, dioxide intensity spikes during the evening peak hours between the 6 pm and midnight the spikes results in high grade waste emission of charging scenario have uh, high load in the evening hour However, the emission from the electricity miles are low at uh, all charging scenarios because of uh, minimal use of carbon-based fuel. 
on low carbon grade conventional uh, vehicle miles have a significant high carbon intensity than the electric miles forever the charging scenario that uh, allow for more miles driven on electric electricity and the right side the medium low medium low carbon grade has a relatively st steady carbon dioxide intensity throughout the 24 hours period because of this the load shape of the different charging scenarios have the little impact on total emission the different in the total emission between the scenario in this case the depend more on a ratio between the electric and non electric miles workplace charging result in higher grid emission because it al it allow for uh, more miles driven on the electricity but when emission from non electric miles are considered the scenario result in fewer total emission than the others in that next slide shows that uh, here uh, the total emission of uh, battery electric vehicle for uh, uh, three uh, electricity grid with low medium and that high carbon intensity here provide the uh, visualization of result all grid intensity and all charging scenario of all battery vehicle and uh, plug-in vehicles that um, in that uh, particular this uh, in the left side that is low carbon grid that uh, we compared the total emission from the battery electric vehicle and plug-in electric vehicle to the generator when uh, uh, conventional vehicle is used to take in the same set of tip for uh, a low carbon grid battery electric vehicle and that uh, plug-in hybrid vehicles each result is about one third of the total emission of conventional vehicles this result account the emission from journeys the battery electric vehicle uh, must taken in that uh, conventional vehicles for a high carbon grid that battery electric vehicle and that plug-in hybrid in uh, uh, plug-in hybrid vehicle results in significant lower emission than that uh, conventional electric vehicle in the right side that so that finally we conclude that that uh, emission saving are greater for uh, plug-in hybrid vehicle then the battery hybrid vehicle low in that grid uh, carbon dioxide intensity is high this is easily explained by that uh, relative efficiency of the vehicles battery electric vehicle results in more uh, electric miles over that uh, overall uh, the than the uh, plug-in hybrid vehicles but the efficiency of the conventional vehicle uh, that is used by battery electric vehicle when they are uh, use on when they are unable to use their electric vehicles the carbon intensity of uh, battery electric vehicle non electric miles is uh, 0.48 pound carbon dioxide per mile while that carbon intensity of that uh, sorry when that uh, that carbon intensity of that conventional vehicles is 0.48 pound uh, carbon dioxide per mile while that carbon intensity of that um, uh, uh, plug-in hybrid vehicle is around 0 0.29 pound per uh, 29 pound carbon dioxide uh, mile per miles thank you